Okay, so in this video, we're gonna have a bit of fun. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite games, that's City Skylines, and how you can cripple your system, literally bring it to its knees with one simple mod. Now that mod can be found in the Steam Workshop for City Skylines. I love the creator support there. There are so many things you can add to this game. That's one of the reasons why I keep playing it, because I might get tired of a certain theme or a certain uh, you know design. I can get tired of a map. I can download more. Many people are adding stuff to that workshop every day. Uh, it's, it's just one of my favorite games to play because there are so many opportunities and it's kind of like a sandbox game, you know, you're kind of the controller of your own destiny and I like that kind of stuff. That's why I like the Roller Coaster Tycoon series, SimCity, you get the point. But anyway, the mod I'm going to show you in this video, I've linked down below. If you play City Skylines, I encourage you to try this out yourself. We're going to open up system usage as well via MSI Afterburner. We have a video talking about how to get all that set up as well. If you're interested in scanning your system and trying to find the bottleneck, although I have a feeling in this case, everything will be the bottleneck. Thermal Grizzly's Carbonaut Pads offer peace of mind, ease of installation, and industry standard performance in a market crowded with mediocre thermal compounds. Our own testing confirms that they conduct heat appropriately and provide a safe and consistent membrane between the dye or IHS and cooler. Best of all, you can grab them in several sizes and reuse them as many times as you'd like. Carbonaut Pads are peace of mind in my book and they're very consistent and that's why I use them for CPU testing. Check them out via the link below. Now the model we're going to be focusing on in this video is called Ultimate Level of Detail. Again, it's linked in the video description for those interested. And this effectively increases or decreases, depending on how you set it, the loading distance for certain things in the game, like trees, buildings, networks. And you can imagine when you have a really big city and you're trying to load all of this stuff from a very far distance, like if you zoom all the way out, then uh, you can really tax your system. So the four toggles we'll be messing with are tree level of detail distance, set to default right now, 425. Prop level of detail distance, 1000. Building distance, 1000. Network, 1000. So networks are like roads, uh, bridges, train tracks, things of that sort. Building's pretty self-explanatory. Props are smaller objects in the game, and then trees, again, pretty self-explanatory. Trees are actually by default set fairly low by comparison because there are so many trees in the game and they have very sharp edges and they move in the wind and that can be very taxing on a system. Uh, but you can see we can raise this all the way up to, yeah, 10,000 meters. And the developer here says, good luck. And then 100,000 meters Goodbye. All right, so you can see this is City Skylines, and I am actually building what's supposed to be Taipei, although apart from the topography, it really looks nothing like Taipei. This is just in honor of Computex coming up again this year. And uh, to the left, you can see system usages, GPU usage, GPU memory right here. So this is VRAM. Uh, we have CPUs 1 through 16. These are all 16 threads in the 9900K I'm sporting. Uh, I'm also using an RTX 2080 for those wondering. Uh, system RAM here, you can see we have 16 gigs in total using about two thirds of that at the moment. And then our frame rate, so DirectX 11, about 40, mid 40s. And then you can see when we zoom in and uh, we get up close and personal here, that frame rate drops substantially down to about 25 or so and I'm okay with this like I don't I don't expect this to run at 100 or 200 FPS that'd be awesome uh, but most of the time I'm just you know I'm locked onto a certain position and I'm like building roads or doing something like, I'm not moving a lot while I'm building so the frame rate in this particular game is not as important to me as the level of detail hence the mod we have installed so what I'm going to do now that you've seen the frame rate with stock level of detail distances uh, is bump that distance dramatically using the level of detail tool. Let's just do, let, let's just do buildings. Let's, let's try that first. So I'm gonna go from 1,000 meters, screw it, 10,000 meters. Let's see what happens. Okay, and I'm gonna back out. And now we're at <laughs> eight FPS. <laughs> that was one toggle, folks. And I'm not even zoomed out. Now you, when we zoom out even further, right? Now it's having to account for many more buildings and our frame rate is about five FPS. So yeah, our CPU usage has gone up a little bit. You can see it's fluctuating, but a lot of these threads are not being utilized much at all. Look at, look at thread 12, like 5%, 15%, back to 6%, 15%, back to 5%. Same with thread 14, uh, thread 16 seems to be doing that. Thread four up here I saw was pretty low, thread six. I thought 30 FPS was bad, but I actually kind of appreciate it now. I, think, I don't think I'm, ever gonna feel as excited to see 40 FPS as I will after I turn all this crap off. So I know this is gonna be choppy, but just to show you exactly what we're manipulating, I have a bunch of dead people living here. Oh my gosh. You can see if we get up close, this building's level of detail is pretty much maxed out for this game. And we're going to zoom out now. And normally that level of detail 
would diminish as the distance between the camera and that building increases. But since we've adjusted that scale distance, now it is well, minus the pixelation, that's you know just the screen's fault, um, that building is in full detail as we zoom out to pretty much max distance. And that's what's taxing this uh, system, rather the game. I mean, our you can see our video memory here is about 7,800 megabytes. That's not technically max, it's pretty close though. And uh, that could be one of the reasons why this game is performing so poorly right now. So the last thing I'm gonna do is bump up every level of detail draw distance to, let's just do max, screw it. 100,000 meters, can we get zero FPS? I'm pretty sure this entire game's gonna crash. I can't even click on the setting. There we go. Yep, we're at one FPS, two, we're, we're in the menu and we're getting one FPS. Uh, let's move this one up just for good measure to 100,000, if I, if I even can. There we go. This is extremely delayed. All right, prop, level of detail distance, scrolling down ever so slowly. And now everything is maxed out. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Let's see if we can click out of the menu. All right, and I'm rotating right now. You're seeing this at one FPS and uh, part of the game isn't even loading. That's weird, I've never seen that before. You can see over here, these buildings aren't even loaded. That's possibly a VRAM issue. It's just not able to load enough into uh, video memory. So it's trying to do it on demand. And when I rotate, the you know angles of the buildings change and uh, kind of freaks out the whole system. Looks like we're good now. Let's try to zoom in. Nope, over there now it's completely gone. Let's try to zoom in. This is where it's gonna get really bad. Oh, two FPS. Let's see if we can just watch some cars on the... Wow, I can't even... If I click like A or D on the keyboard to move left or right, it just skips so much. This is going to give me a headache. You can see we have uh, a few CPU threads here. Like CPU thread 3 is pretty high, 74%, 62%. Now, some of these are pretty high, but some of these are like zero, like like thread 15 was like zero a second ago. All these threads are very low uh, in terms of usage, so definitely not a CPU bottleneck. Our system memory, or excuse me, our, our video memory is still pegged at around 7,800 megabytes. I don't expect it to go much higher than that. I don't think it really can, uh, but our GPU usage is 28%, 30% right now. Not looking too good. But uh, it's not our GPU's fault. I would say this is probably a video memory issue. It's just there's just not enough of it. Uh, and also just an optimization issue. The game just doesn't know how to properly utilize the hardware at its disposal. This can be broken down into several factors. I would say the fact that the engine itself is just not prepared for the, the stacks of hardware that we could potentially throw at this game. Uh, the fact that our graphics card came out significantly later than this game did. And I mean, developers can, they can do a little bit, but they really don't want to change the entire framework of the game because then that ruins all the mods that all of these uh, creators have published in the workshop. And it's annoying when uh, Cities publishes some, you know, software update that totally renders um, mods like these useless. And then that could potentially ruin the save state of uh, progress in a city. So. Uh, there are reasons why they keep it this way. I mean, I don't think they expect people to completely max out levels of detail distance, but that is it. We're we're at a one FPS, and uh, I'm gonna call it. This system just it, it just it's not fit for this game. City Skylines has effectively crushed this PC. Yeah, that was fun. What do you think, Pepsi? That was pretty fun, right? I would pick her up. She'll probably bite me. Should I do it? I'll do it. Here we go. Hey, it's okay. Say hi to the camera. She's actually being pretty chill right now. Oh, oh, oh. Weird shit, I didn't like that. Okay. She's not one of those cats that likes to be held, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, that's City Skylines for you. Uh, look, the game itself runs fine. It, it's never been a game that I've gotten to run over like 100 FPS, especially in higher, very high presets, but. There's a lot of stuff you can do to it, and some of the things out there, like this level of detail toggle, ow, uh, will crush your system. And it, look, we're running a really nice system here, right? 9900K, it's no slouch. One of the best gaming CPUs on the market. RTX 2080, again, no slouch. We were limited by our VRAM. We were also limited by the game itself, just not being able to 
utilize the hardware at its disposal. That's again, comes down to the engine, comes down to the developers. When they change a lot of stuff in a game or they, they just push out some totally new framework, it renders a lot of these mods useless and the entire workshop for the most part kind of falls apart. People get really pissed off because they worked really hard on a city that has a lot of mods in it and now they can't even load into their game because their mods don't work anymore. So it's understandable. I still enjoy the game even at 30 or 40 FPS. And look, a lot of that is because of the mods that I've put into the game, which the initial developers really didn't, uh, you know, intend to be used by a ton of people else. They would have thrown those things into the game in the first place, right? So it's nice that we have that support. Uh, and again, if this is something you want to try, I mean, good luck. If you think you have a system that can handle it, let me know in the comments below how that goes. You can find uh, a link to that toggle that mod in the video description uh, along with the game itself if you're interested in buying City Skylines. I play it again just in my pastime. Very fun game, kind of like a sandbox game and uh, you can just be creative. That's really the point of it. If you guys like this video, thumbs up. You know what to do. I'm not going to spill through everything. You guys have been awesome. I will catch you in the next one. This is Science Studio. Thanks for watching and thanks for learning with us.